Welcome back, y'all. Oh, we're camping. We're camping in the woods. Got to love it, baby. It's hunting season now, archery season. I've got an itch. I gotta scratch it so bad. And I got a big, uh, a big ambition, you know? This is like a long-term goal. Not necessarily saying it's gonna happen this year. You know, last year I really wanted to get a, an animal with a bow that I made myself. I was able to get that done. I'm still all about that. But also, I want to try to get an animal on public land. And I was able to do that this year with my bow on a pig, but now I'm trying to go after a deer. So we got some public land and we're going to try to hunt it. This is something that I'm a greenhorn at. I'm a self-admitted, you know, long time Texas hunt over a corn pile guy. And I'm not ashamed of that. Don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'm just trying to do something a little different a little bit of a challenge i feel like if you can get anything on public land it's a big accomplishment pretty quick setup today guys i already had a lot of the things ready to go i've got food and everything for a couple days might end up doing a little bit of fishing as well but for right now, I'm just gonna grab a snack, get the pack and head to the woods. I really have no idea what to expect guys, but I don't have high expectations. Just starting out here on my hike though. I don't see a bunch of hunters and trees yet. So that's, that's a good sign. There's our first track, first white tail track right there. Whew, let's celebrate. First sign. Hey, little buddy. Little box turtle. Pretty cool. Just found this tree right here that I like. There's some prints on this road with a little creek with some water in it where they can drink. There's also a guy in a pop-up line down there. So, first encounter with a hunter. But I like this road. There's more tracks that are fresh. Some fresh little grasses going. Feel good about the sign guys you know who knows if they're moving during during the day daylight hours but i for sure spooked a doe she blew and that was probably 70 80 yards from where i was seeing a lot of that sign and that scrape so right now we're just going to recharge the batteries get a bite to eat start getting the saddle hunting gear all together now this will be a first if i get an animal out of a saddle been wanting to do that for a couple years too so 
a lot of bigs. Feel good about today though. Feel good about today. At the very least, good scouting day, campfire tonight. Hoping it's going to be a late night deal. Me with a deer on my back. Stock full of yellow bellies. Good there. We have some catfish. I think these are catfish bellies right here. Blue catfish bellies. Oh, we got some summer sausage. I'm gonna let that thaw out. From previous deer, I've got other previous deer burger in there. Other previous deer breakfast sausage. We do all right. I mean, this is this is what I eat at deer camp right here. Meat and uh, wheat. Meat and wheat. Pre-game prep. I'm gonna take you guys through my gear, what I'm gonna be using, how I'm gonna be using it, and all that. So, this is my little saddle hunting box that I made and I've got, I keep my, uh, my saddle and all that stuff in here. I've got it out right now. I've got extra broadheads. If we need to go that far into that, iron wheels, 125s. Uh, I've got some game bags. These are from the born and raised guys. Made for elk. Should be plenty big for a deer if I get one, especially the size deer that I might be looking at, by the way. Anything that comes out that has over three inches of little horns, basically if it's not a button buck, I'm shooting it. Unless it's like a little doe that's got some big brown sparkly eyes, might convince me. But anything else, it's going down. So I've got saddle hunting gear. I keep extra um, carabiners. I have my single rope system in here for climbing you know some trees are better for single rope some that i've just played around with in the woods are so big i can't even get my saddle uh, straps around them not my saddle straps my stick straps around them so it's better for single rope there's just different kinds of trees you know there's pole timber sometimes there's uh oaks which we have a lot of here a lot of scrub oaks they get kind of gnarly so sticks don't always work the best but we got extra one extra stick this is what I'm carrying. These are the tethered Skeletors. Carrying three of those. Those are a little heavy, but they're very sturdy. I like them. So getting up there, I'll obviously have my saddle on. I've got extra gear on that. I'll show you that here in a second, but this will be my pack. I'll hang it up like this on a rope. And I also got one of these, these special little clips. This is made by, this is the Hero Clip hero clip and I just put that around there the tension is held by the pack this ain't going anywhere and then that is holding my bow got it sitting on the cam maybe that's not the best maybe we yeah maybe we do it right there on the limb um, this is my saddle so tethered phantom saddle I've got a couple little pouches on the sides uh, I got this one cheap off Amazon this one I got from Tethered. It honestly wasn't that expensive either. Um, we're going with our uh, lineman rope today, and I'm carrying the tether in here. Carabiner on that with a um, Ropeman 1. I've got two Ropeman 1s, one for my tether, one for the, the lineman belt. And I've got a just a saw if I need to cut a little shooting lane or something. And I'm carrying paracord in here paracord with a clip so that way I can uh, start my climb with that bring up my bow afterwards all right y'all we are laced up ready to rock a giant 150 inch buck or Bambi you know whatever presents itself I'm ready either way I'm scratching the itch even if I don't see anything I'm scratching the itch just been fiending just to sit in a tree get in a saddle and just wait so this is the full program full loadout got the sticks on the pack with the platform on the back i really like this pack that was a lot of rhymes really like this pack uh kuyu doesn't make it anymore but it is it's not what it is, was designed for but it works pretty good for that stick setup so got the saddle on Ray Rock. Let's go get the woods, guys. <laughs> Party jump, two deer. Whew, I actually could have shot at that one.
exactly where I hope a deer walks. We're finally up here in the tree, guys. It took me about 45 minutes longer than expected. Just had a doe run out in front of me. Probably 80 yards. She just ran right across. She might have been getting chased by something. It's probably that moment where I should get down. I've got 15 minutes left of legal light. <clears throat> but I think I'm gonna get down anyway. Just give myself some extra time to get this gear. Whew, took me so long to get up in this tree and get situated. Oh, my back's killing me. But I'm gonna move this whole thing. I'm gonna try to <clears throat> set it up before it gets really dark at this other tree that I liked. Campfire popping! Pork carnitas from Kroger. About to go in the iron skillet. And we'll find something to put in there. I don't know. Put with it. Got some bread. And we did find some animals today, and I was actually pretty shocked uh, that I almost had a shot opportunity walking in to my stand. So about 40 yards probably, um, there was, I don't, I don't know if it was a legal deer or not. Could have been a little button buck, could have been a doe, I'm not sure. I'm gonna enjoy my pork carnitas and a cold adult beverage. I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Hopefully we get something to walk under our tree. Good morning, and it is our first morning to go to go hunting out here. So it's about 6.30, sunrise is in an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and start heading that way and get up in the tree. I set up things last night as far as sticks go, my tether and all that, uh, the platform. But I need to set up my bow hanger, a couple other things, you know, just get comfy before I start seeing some light. I'm excited. There's not much wind this morning, so I'm glad we are going up in a tree. Um, but we'll make a game plan on uh, what we see in the first hour or so. We got a full day to hunt, so let's get after it. I just spooked two deer. Coming back to my camper. Like, they're close. Quarter mile away. I literally just knocked an arrow. Like, 35 yards. Looked like a little doe. A little tiny doe, but phew, I'll take it. I, guys, I think this is the move. I just, I need to probably drop some gear, go a little lighter, and just, just sneak through this stuff. This is crazy, y'all. I've, I've seen more deer on the ground than I have up in the tree. Like, I've had two really close opportunities, like, crouch, I crouched down, I was, I knocked an arrow and it's like, as I was not even coming up, like just knocking the arrows both times the deer take off, but that's still a 10, 15 second window. It can be done. It can be done. And they're all just little deer, little tiny deer, which is fine. I'm just trying to go after something 
I think I have a better chance at that than I do sitting in a tree all day. Three hours about max for me. The back, the knees, the feet, they all start screaming. Three skillet eggs with some deer sausage. A little bit of SPG on there with some Cholula. And then in here I've got my mushroom tea. A little mushroom chai tea with some mesquite honey in there. Mm, that'll wake you up. That's going to get the system moving. Once the system moves, I'm going to be moving out into the woods. All right, we're in the woods now. It seems like there's some storms coming in. I don't know. The wind's just really blowing. It's starting to clear off. So I think this is a good time to get into the thicker woods where there's a lot of shade. And I'm in a spot where I spotted that deer earlier. So I've got the wind coming into my face right now. I'm just going to walk this way. Deer usually like to walk into the wind so they can smell what's coming. So I'm going to do the same thing they're doing. Try to catch them either napping or just feeding. Or they don't notice me. The wind is not necessarily a bad thing. The high winds because they can't hear me coming if all the leaves and branches are moving around. So this is a good opportunity to stalk. These aren't like the ones I have at home. I have post oaks. I have some red oaks. But I don't know, is this white oak? If it's white oak, that's really good. I'm just, I don't know. I'm honestly thinking about setting up in here. Tons of baby oaks growing. Oh, 
Oh, my feet have never been so happy to see a little stool and a chair. Went ham this morning, guys. I mean, it's not even morning anymore. It's past one o'clock. I'll set the boots in the sun. I think I'm gonna get some chili started. Take a look, cold shower, get a quick recovery for a couple hours, and then I'm gonna go get back in that tree. Not the same tree. I'm gonna go to a different tree. This is a lot of movement. I mean, ideally, I would like to set my my sticks on a tree and go up that same thing every time. But since I'm, I'm literally like scouting and hunting, I'm just trying to move as much as possible to see as much as possible. And I've seen a lot today. The trip is, is a success. I had a deer, 38 yards. I could have shot. Wasn't quite legal. It was a couple inches away from being legal. Yeah, we got ourselves some deer meat and beans with some seasoning. Some might call it chili. Some French bread and a cheese stick that I took out of my kid's snack drawer at home. Let's give this a whirl, huh? That's going to be interesting going up into a tree with that. It's a uh... It's four o'clock right now. And I don't know if you guys can tell from the other trees that I filmed in, but this one has got a lot more open space. Now I can see out to 70, 80 yards, pretty much all around me. And I'm in a proper big tree. I'm in the big tree right in this little gut right here, this little draw. And it's a, it's a big oak tree, giant leaves. Lots of nuts falling. I already have seen deer around here and I want to see if they're utilizing this little draw. I also set up a trail cam, so we'll have that for the future. But I love this spot. I mean, I can, I can shoot a long ways all around me, see them coming. And we're, we're a pretty good ways up here. So everything looks good. Got the bow on giant oak tree see if anything comes out final day. I've decided I'm not going to go back in my tree. By the way, I was so tired last night. I just fell asleep at the fire in my chair. Just dog tired scouting in a, in a good way. Good tired. God, these coyotes are just trying to talk here. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go to a couple of field areas by my tree stand. Um, One's a little food plot, another's just kind of a road, and then there's a huge field, and I wanna see if anything's moving in there. That's different than a lot of the other things I've hunted. So that's kind of like the final piece. Um, put together all this information, a couple cams out and be able to come back. We got our hiking boots on, let's head to the woods. Update. 
lights. I'm just standing on this road, kind of in a in a dark spot, a little ditch. Taking down all the gear. Oh, this would be the time a big buck would walk by. I don't have my bow. Just giving him every opportunity. This tree scares me. This one, it's like slightly leaning back. And the whole way up, it's like I'm trying to bear hug the tree with the lineman rope to get it up, but it's so big, I can barely reach around. That's a scary tree. And I think we are, are done, boys. This is the real tricky part right here. It's the part that I don't like. Oh. It's getting from this platform down to the next stick. baby off I got a bungee for this strap and it makes storing it so much easier forget who makes these I got them off Amazon extremes but these things are pretty cool just for a lot of different storage stuff chilly this morning my fingers are cold get that little bungee around there all right oh, we didn't die having catfish bellies for breakfast. God bless America. That's a breakfast. Alrighty, finishing move. Take the rice, a little butter. Mix that on in here with our catfish bellies. Skeet, jalapeno, honey, Cholula. Skillet breakfast built for a fishing freak. A little campfire to set the mood. Oh, and that, my friends, is the great outdoors. Well, friends, we have camped, we've scouted, we've hunted. It's been a heck of a time. Did not get a deer, but coming into it, my expectations were not really to do that. It was to, to learn this place, study it, and study it, I did. And now I'm emotionally invested in it. Got some cameras out, uh, spent some time here, so I, I will definitely be back to try to get the deed done. I might wait three or four weeks, uh, just depending on, uh, I'll kind of compare it around my house, you know, the acorns are falling. I, I get to watch deer around my house a lot, which is nice. Kind of see what they're doing. And 
I'll compare notes and come out here when uh, when I think it's it's go time. I don't have to harvest anything to have a great time in the woods. I just love putting on a pack, going out there, just being by myself in the woods, man. It's just time of solace and peace. Hopefully you guys feel the same way. And good luck. Good luck on your next adventures, whether you're flinging arrows or flinging crankbaits or, or topwaters, hopefully, right now. It's, that's about to get very nice. So I will see you guys on another great outdoor adventure right here on the channel. Stay tuned.